Monday Night Football coming down to this play. Calvin Johnson appeared to be headed into the end zone. Now, a couple of different aspects of this play, guys. One, the all-world play by Cam Chancellor to knock it loose. But K.J. Wright at the end, you'll see, punches the football out of bounds to get the touchback. We're, we're trying to get... Dean Blandino, the uh, vice president of officiating on the phone, to confirm whether or not that is permitted. Wow. Because there are a lot of people right now, as we're hearing uh, on Twitter and all over the place, that, uh, that, that should have been a penalty on the play, and Detroit shouldn't have got, should have ha had the football they back. They would have got the ball back, though? I, yeah. I, would, I would have to hear it from one of the officials. I just don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Okay. You bat it out and you don't I'm, get the ball? I'm told well, that we do I'm have Dean Blandino. It's a change of possession. So, on the yeah, phone, Dean is the uh, vice president of officiating. Uh, Dean Spiro and uh, the rest of the guys here in, in Los Angeles, take us through this play uh, in terms of the rule. Are you allowed to, to bat the football out uh, once you're in the end zone, as we saw from K.J. Wright? Yeah, so you can't bat the ball in any direction in the end zone, either end zone. So K.J. Wright batted the football. That is a foul for an illegal bat. Um, the back judge was on the play. In his judgment, he didn't feel it was an overt act, so he didn't throw the flag. Uh, in looking at the replays, it did look like a bat, and uh, so the enforcement would be basically we'd go back to the spot of the fumble, and Detroit would keep the football. Mm. So that the uh, ball would be back at the one-yard line then, Dean? Yeah, we'd go back to the spot of the fumble. You'd enforce the foul half the distance from that spot um, had we called an illegal bat on the field. It's not reviewable in replay. That is specific in the replay rule. You can't rule – uh, on an illegal bat in replay because, again, it is a judgment call. It's an intentional act, and you can't rule on that intent. So that's something that has to be called on the field. Dean, just hearing it in your voice, I mean, you've seen this video, I'm sure, a couple of times already. Uh, in your opinion, was it enough to, to warrant the penalty should, should the flag have been thrown? Yeah, and looking at the replays, it looks like a bat. It looks like that uh, he does take his right hand and he bats it intentionally. Again, judgment call on the field. Back judge felt it wasn't overt. And, uh, and that's why he didn't throw the flag.